you got the default uh, bill payment terms. So this is kind of like we saw on the invoice. If I enter a bill into the system, that means that I'm gonna pay it at a future time. Now the term bill for QuickBooks is a very specific term. So we can use it in a lot of different ways outside of QuickBooks, even in accounting. But for QuickBooks, it means we got a bill from the customer and we're entering it into our system before we pay it. We're not just gonna pay it with a check. We could get an invoice or a bill from a customer and pay it with a check, which means we wouldn't use the bill form. If I enter it with a bill form, that means that we're gonna pay it in the future. Now it doesn't have a default here because you know, you're probably gonna have to enter the manual bill, bill date of when it is due rather than just give a default here because we're the one receiving the bill. But I'm gonna put a default on it in our practice problems so we can just see, so it'll generate that automatically for us. So that's gonna be when it's gonna be due by default. Let's save it 